All right, we are going to deviate just a little bit today from the standard installed commands, and we're going to look at one that we've got to add to the system. And this is true whether it's Linux or Mac OS, and that is the tree command. So I've got it installed on this system, and we're going to say man tree, and it lists the contents of directories in a tree-like format. One of the things you can do here is that you can set the number of levels you want it to display. If we do tree dash capital L and say two, it's going to display two levels. And so as you can see, this is useful if you have a big directory with lots of files and need to see where those files are or just see how many subdirectories you have in a given location. Back on the Mac side, we're in that shorts directory. If we do tree by itself, since we only have the three files, it's just going to list the three files. If we come back up here and go into documents, for instance, and we'll do again dash l2 and you can see that i've got several subdirectories containing multiple files and sometimes additional directories useful command to have it's available on most linux systems it's just an install away uh, on debian it'd be apt install uh, on the Mac side, it would require you to use another way to install it. Uh, generally, I've installed it using Homebrew. Again, useful command to have, definitely a time saver, and it keeps you from having to dig into a bunch of directories to try to find a, a particular file. And on that note, we'll see you in the next one.